Greetings and welcome, back gentles and ladies men, to the playthrough. I'm a girl. <laughs> so Yo Yoshi, as they would say over in Brooklyn. <laughs> Brooklyn? Where is that? It's in France. Let's go to the level now. Blue coin. Come back here, bit little baby boy. <laughs> Come here, baby, my boy. This has been a successful Mom, episode. Uh, see you next time on Game Mavericks when we'll be going after the other blue coin. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Now that since I have y Yoshi, we should get one of those secret. Oh, by the way, ha by the way, you explain it to them. I don't have enough Vin Diesel in me. What happened? Oh, why would we get get Yoshi? Hold on. Well, Tell I see, folks, we we tried to record the first Shine Sprite in um, Serena Beach, the next level we're going to be going to. Um, Hotel Mario. Yeah, hotel at the Hotel Mario level. Yes. But we got a recording error. <laughs> Does that surprise Big you guys? Big fucking surprise. Michael's brain is a fart cloud, as <laughs> uh, a, a genius of our time once said. So, yeah, we might as well get these. I mean, Only because you need Yoshi for this one, don't yeah. you? I mean, like, you're... you're Flood will not reach all the way over there, so you have to use fruit juice to clean it somehow. Uh, Mr. Clean? Mm hmm <laughs> Uh-huh. Have you seen the latest Mr. Clean commercials? Isn't he, like, he... even more weirdly CG than normal? Yeah. And he's got, and he's got like, a babushka. A babushka? Yeah, a babushka. Quick question, um, Michael. <laughs> Are you an idiot? I'm well, I thought you. Way. I thought you. You told me that babushka means grandma in Russian or something. Uh, Michael, real quick, something about your intelligence. <laughs> it isn't. <laughs> it um, exists not. Anyway, go on about your babushka, Mr. Clean story. They tell you that I photoshopped just for no reason. Well, there was a reason, but I forget what it was. <laughs> I photoshopped. You know the game Hitman. Yeah. I replaced Hitman's head with Mr. Clean and changed Hitman Absolution to uh, Hitman Cleaning Solution or something like that. <laughs> and he had his stupid like smiley face and like the two guns. Mm -hmm. Anyway, now that that story's over and we have another Shin Sprit, well, that, that's just a little gander for you folks, a little preview to the what's to come. Rocket nozzles, those are existent. You can buy them on Amazon.net slash gov. <laughs> What is that? Like, icky paint like a goop. Why is it that it teleports you places? That's a good question. But they're I'm only sorry, like, what? They're, that's a good question. Okay. But there are you. only two of those in the game. So, like, what's the deal with those M's? Yeah, that, same like, thing. like, teleport you? Same thing. Is what I, what I was thinking. They must be made of the same paint that Peach's Castle's paints, paintings were made of. This, whoops. Same icky paint like a goop. It's moving. <laughs> no, no, boys. But anyways, folks, stuff. you do need Yoshi. In Talk to, to Michael up here. No. All he needs is oh, that stupid Oh, please tell me hat. the nightmare is over. <laughs> no. Kirby, listen. Ah, uh, tell me the nightmare is over. Kirby. This guy's telling us that his hotel was has sank into the electric goop and won't come back. Why? And there's this awful Why? monster that caused it. Why? And it's this guy that everybody hates. <laughs> Man Ray. And Eric and I actually discovered a pro strat for defeating this boss. Eric and I. All right, Eric. Did, oh no! Wait, he went through the tree. No, he didn't. <laughs> I refuse to believe it. So, you go under the under the trizzle. Under the tree, pro strats. They they don't even show this on MLG because it's so fresh off the press. It's so hot and fresh off. They don't want you to know. <laughs> It's like, it's, it's like, you know, those ads that are like, doctors hate him. <laughs> One easy trick to lose 50,000 pounds. Just kill yourself. The end. <laughs> That'll be $12,000. 12, $12, doctors hate, doctors, they're always like white and with this like shitty, shitty like. Grin. F shitty font, but that's in all black except for the word hate, which is red. Yeah. And it's some asshole. With like a, a glasses and a doctor's coat, smiling like smugly. You no, know, because real doctors wear those things. Yes, that's true. They do always. Do they? Where do they do? I'm trying to think. No. Because most doctors are just wearing like a button-up shirt. Yeah. And huh? The more you nizzle. That's a word now. You can look it up in the Oxford Dictionary of fart clouds. 
AKA Michael's brain. Oh god, the slowdown is fucking level. Like I, like I'm I watching said, the capture like a hawk, folks. Like a giant six foot hawk. <laughs> Michael, put your hawk away. Get it? Hawk it off sounds. my jock. Hawklesylvania. <laughs> what? Anyway, we are so these fuckers. Anyway, will... that thing you say after an unsuccessful joke. This is this is the um, the point in the game where the goop starts to have status effects. There are two levels in the game where it happens. This is one of them. It'll be electrified. And this don't level. tell them. Don't t don't spoiler warning the other one. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna say what the uh, what the other level it's is. It's so intense. It it's secretly no, a dragon. This game's only like fly what like breath. 14 years old now. It's mm. is it really? Yeah, 2000. That's, that's weird to think that this game is that years. old. Doesn't seem that old. Yeah, I remember when it fucking came out, and I was like a little poop, a little baby boy. Now I know what all those uh, clickbait nostalgia reviewers feel like. <laughs> oh, for the for like, like clickbait reviews overtone. I'm sorry, you need to explain this to me, <laughs> my little poop brain. <laughs> You've heard of a reviewer called CGR Undertow, right? <sighs> I think a more appropriate name is clickbait reviews overtone. <laughs> But because basically all they do, do they? What do they? Let do? me sum up their Donkey Kong Land two because I, I know what clickbait is. By far, I I am very well aware of of what what the word clickbait entails. Yeah. The sex and nostalgia are the biggest ones. Yeah. That and I I'd say that that they're the second one. Or yeah, nostalgia. <laughs> Dude, dude. So basically, it's let me sum up. Song. I like. I was trying to look up footage for um, Donkey Kong Land on the Super Game Boy because I was trying to you the know, Super double Game checks. Boy. Yeah, the Super Game Boy. It's like an add-on for the Super Nintendo. Once you play Game Boy games on it. Oh, it's that's sort of, right. I've it's seen sort that. of like oh, the Game I'm Boy almost player. Dead. It's sort oh, of like the Game Boy, boy player, except oh, it only dear. plays the original Game Boy game. Oh, boys! Come on, baby! Come on! Let me in the <laughs> coin. <laughs> no! If you die in this boss, you're disowned. <laughs> you know this is like really hard boss. Yeah, this is a deceptively hard boss battle. But basically, so then like I don't really watch them because like I don't care for the content generally. But it's just like out of the corner of my eye while I'm watching my friend Josh call play the game Donkey Kong Land One on a Super Game Boy. Mm -hmm. You see, I see like oh Donkey Kong Land Two review from C CGR Undertow. I wonder what what's they have the, to what's say. What's the thumbnail? That. It's basically just the cartridge. Oh, okay. So then I watched this video and it's basically like, Donkey Kong Country was a famous series that made a splash in video game culture. <laughs> this is the same thing except on a Game Boy. It is the best game of all time because they put Donkey Kong Country 2 on a Game Boy. That shouldn't be possible, <laughs> but they did Here's it. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. I don't know whether or not to, to believe. I think... I think... There is a a slight. I would have to see it before I can I can confirm. I mean, obviously, it. I'm I'm exaggerating no. for humorous effect, but that was pretty much what it was. Was them, and they like even said like it's easy to criticize a game like this, but it's for the Game Boy, so therefore it's good. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's easy to criticize a game like this. Yeah, it's just like oh, it has screen crunch and the hit detection issues, but that doesn't matter because it's Donkey Kong Country 2 on the Game Boy. It's a Dankle Kang game, so it's pretty da Dankle Kang good. It's, and it's just like... Oh. Is that it? Yep. 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 CGR <laughs> undertone video game vault by Stuttering Craig. They're like the same sort of thing. Where they make like f three minute reviews of games people already know about. And they basically tell them what people already know. And they oh. get tons of views for it. It's clickbait. It's con confirming of beliefs. Yeah. And that's how you get the, well, at the least big old views and thus, subscribers. Thus, on Michael YouTube. says, "Michael's Michael's salty. He's Ugh. he's full of salt. He sees nothing but evil in the world." Of course, I got it called out for being salty, Eric, from that for my uh, confirming of the Jack Two review happening. <laughs> you were called salty for that. Yep. For confirming of it. No, no. Are you in your video? It. Well, yeah. In the video. Because it was because it was cheesily acted in a amateur YouTube type way. Yeah. You really gonna make me play this game? Well, nobody's gonna make you do anything, but you're going to do it. Well, I'm making you do it. 
That's different. No, you that's want me I, to play that shit. That's because I'm here, and I, I've been pressuring you the whole way. Just like if you if you're watching this and you don't watch Corbin Corbin Septic Barn sixty four, we need Ethan's coming in August to hang yep. out, and they're going to do g collaboration type stuff, and we, I'm. Michael is going to play Star Fox Adventures for the Let's Play channel. It's going to happen. <laughs> he might say it's not, but it's going to. And uh, we're also going to play... Uh, he's going to... Well, he is. He's going to play Castlevania 3. Si What's that one? Dracula's Curse. Dracula's Curse. I almost said Simon's Quest. Is this the go ghosty one? I mean, honestly, Simon's Quest is the one that should be called Dracula's Curse because the whole concept of that game is that what Simon is cursed. What a horrible night to, to have Yeah, exactly. There, the curse is literally just that monsters show up. No, the curse is that like if you take too long to beat the game, Simon dies. Well, that's certainly grim. Yeah, it is. It's grimmest for than McDonald's. Game, no less. I remember that getting up here being a lot harder than it yeah. was. Maybe it's because I'm so darn good. Isn't this another pretty notorious secret? Mm, yeah, yeah. I mean, like honestly, when I was a kid, I thought these were the hardest fucking thing, but now. They're, they're like easy as they're, hell. They're definitely tougher than the rest of the game. That is true, but you know, it's still that's not saying much. It's not like lost levels hard. No. What's the hardest It's not even like Super Mario World hard. So here's the deal. I wanna have less lives so it's more risky and therefore more enjoyable entertainment. You're welcome. Mm. <laughs> well Eric, that's you a, should kill yourself. That's two an more old times. wrestling trick. <laughs> <laughs> Man, what a hilarious Eric, should we inside tell them joke. The story you, can tell them, you can tell them the story of Nose Man. Okay, so Eric and I, with the rest of our family, we recently went on a little uh, vacation, you might say. Oh, work and then, vacation. For whatever reason, I had a nosebleed. For whatever reason. He got off the plane, he had a dangled nosebleed. Yeah, like so, right when we got off the plane. And he was acting like a little baby. I was literally <laughs> embarrassed. Anyway, go on. So, like, I'm trying to get the the bleeding to stop, so I go into the bathroom, and it's just like there's... Whenever I have a nosebleed, it's like it's like I an artery burst or something, I swear. But, so I clean it up, and I come out, and I've got, like, dang old paper towels in my nose to, you know, stop Michael, the bleeding. why are you talking such a stupid way? Shut dang up, old. you. What do you... Like... Why like did I you said, just commit suicide? Because I told you. More up the stakes. Listen, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like a vampire. I, um, stakes. Go on. <laughs> Go on. So I come out of the bathroom, and in our, in our family, is kind of like, there's this guy. No, 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 you're forgetting. He walks up to us, and he's like, eh, I haven't got a nosebleed. And then, some man, this, how would you describe him, 50 maybe? He was, he was... Got a little beer belly, he's holding like... Middle-aged, two. Man. Two of those really big, like, bottles of Dasani water. <laughs> and he just walks up, almost belligerently, to Michael. And he says, what you gotta do when you got one of those no... You gotta stick your finger. And he puts his finger up, like, into his upper lip. Like, <laughs> yeah. in his mouth. And he says, you gotta stick it up there. It's an old wrestling trick I saw. And, uh, anyway, see you later. And just <laughs> leaves. And we dubbed him Nose Man. He's the savior of people with bloody noses. <laughs> He's he's an old wrestler. He, he carries two bottles of Dasani water, and he saves he he saves you. The, yeah. And after he gave us our, our life changing. This is the worst anecdote I think I've ever been told. <laughs> it's so bad you that I killed myself. You are shite at this game. I would say we're gonna fast forward, but I will decide that in post. <laughs> And if we aren't fast forward, I would fast it means forward. Michael That would require lazy. me to do something while I edit. God damn it, Eric! See, now I have zero lives. The stakes could not be higher. Those stakes are so high that they're getting cold, and you better eat them before they get too cold. Indeed. This is a good episode, I think. <laughs> Can we address the giant melons? And not the. And I'm talking about Princess Chodestools over here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Princess Chodestool. Anyway, 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 anyway. And so the deal with those is that they're they're pinors that are wider than they are longer, right? I'm sorry. Chodes. Uh, close enough. <laughs> keep up, keep up, keep up. 
So that okay. means that they're like shaped like this. All right, we're, we've moved on. So that's, <laughs> so that's how that's going. A little baby boy. I don't know. I don't think that's possible. <clears throat> Without genetic modification, of course. Do you hear the shit I put up with on a daily basis? Have you heard some of the shit you've said in these videos? Yeah, but it's all facetious and weird. Yeah, but weird. when I when do you it, Michael, it. I'm funny and I'm like the cool guy, you know? The cool guy. <laughs> I'm that like that the... big old cool guy who wears a wife beater and a super sweet necklace. Like Carl from a the Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Yeah, like that, but you know, a little bit more muscly, you know, hit the gym, get that tan on, you know what I'm saying? Get the ladies, you know what I'm saying? Shit. I mean, I could I practically be on an episode of Jersey Shore. See? Wasn't the tension so high there? Indeed. I was sweating out of my bullocks. That's how scared I was.